Hey everyone, this is Ron from eCoverSoftwarePro.com. This video will cover how to add a border to text using GIMP, a free uh, image editor located at GIMP.org, and it's a very powerful tool. What we have here is our template for our eCovers uh, provided to eCover Software Pro customers, and we can see our example cover and uh, we need to add our cover image text so what I'll do in this video is create the text and add a border to it so this A button is your text tool so click in it and type your text my e-cover click close this is the move tool and you can move that text around until you're happy with its position and then if you let go of the mouse, you can use the arrow keys to fine-tune your positioning. Also, if you realize you need to resize or recolor your text, um, or edit the text in any way, just click back on the A, click back on the text field you'd like to edit, and you can change the font size, and you can change the color, whatever edits you need to make. All right. In order to add a cover, we're going to go and click on our text layer. You can see it's called My eCover, and it has a T, the text layer here. Just right-click on it and choose Alpha to Selection. All right, we're going to be using that a decent amount. It's a, a very uh, popular function, and what it does is it selects the, uh, the text here. Go ahead and go to Select and grow and grow to selection by two pixels click OK now we're going to create a new layer in the layers window here you'll see a new layer click that call it border one or border or you know something that you'll know what you're doing here what it's going to be and transparency click OK select that that new layer is called border one you see it here and move it down so that it's right below your text here's my text layer here's my border layer okay now making sure that you select that border one layer go to your fill tool which is the bucket make sure your front color is black if you need to change it just click on it select black and okay and click inside the selection You'll see now that when we go to select none, we have a really crisp border around our text, adding a lot of professionalism to the cover, and bringing our lesson to an end today. Um, so we went ahead and added this cover, the completed version, into eCover Software Pro. Um, and we generated some covers in a few seconds using the template that you saw us working on. And you can see the amazing 3D images that you can create um, with any 2D image that you create. Um, all sorts of uh, covers and shapes and iPhones. So again, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at eCoverSoftwarePro. Uh, the email address is support at eCoverSoftwarePro. Thanks always for watching, and uh, check out the other instructional videos we have uh, that cover other parts of creating this cover. Thank you very much.